if alpha where alpha lies between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 is the solution of 4 cos theta plus 5 sin theta is equal to 1 then find the value of tan alpha so it is given 4 cos theta plus 5 sin theta is equal to 1 so dividing with cos theta on both the sides So we can say 4 plus 5 times of tan theta is equal to secant theta squaring on both sides. So we have 4 square 16 plus 5 square 25 tan square theta plus 2 into 4 8 8 5 are 40 times tan theta is equal to secant square theta. And we have secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. So we can write secant square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta. So we may write 25 tan square theta plus 40 times tan theta plus 16 minus secant square theta we can write 1 minus of 1 plus tan square theta is equal to 0. So we can write 24 tan square theta plus 40 times tan theta plus 15 is equal to 0. So we can write here tan theta is equal to minus 40 plus or minus under root of b square that is 1600 minus 4ac that is 4 into 24 into 15 divided by 2 into 24 which is equal to minus 40 plus or minus 1600 minus 15 for the 24 the 14 40 so we can write 1600 minus 1440 divided by 2 into 24 or we can write minus 40 plus or minus under root of 1600 minus 14 40 is 160 divided by 2 into 2 into 12 so we can write tan theta tan theta is equal to minus 40 plus or minus root of 160 we can write 4 root of 10 divided by 2 into 2 into 12 that is 4 into 12 which is minus 10 plus or minus root 10 divided by 12 so tan theta since tan theta is equal to where alpha lies between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 and alpha is the solution of this equation so we may consider tan theta is and tan alpha we can add minus 10 plus root 10 upon 12 or minus 10 minus root 10 upon 12 so we can see that this option is satisfying R root 10 minus 10 upon 12 so tan theta is equal to which is tan alpha we can say tan where theta is alpha is a solution so we can write tan alpha also equal to root 10 minus 10 upon 12 which is option a